Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and uh, we've been talking about the cell signaling pathways in details. Uh, in this video we are going to talk about two most important cell signaling pathways. Particularly in this video I'm going to share the details of TGF beta cell signaling pathway. That is also known as the transforming growth factor beta. Transforming growth factor beta cell signaling pathway is uh, one of the very important kind and which is a less discussed one. So let's begin to talk about the TGF beta signaling. And if you recall uh, we been talking about the signaling pathway with the help of the five finger concept and again with using this five finger concept we can remember the TGF beta signaling pathway quite easily so we can say the easy way to remember TGF beta signaling or transforming growth factor beta signaling with the help of the five finger concept and with this concept we first need to talk about uh, all the five important parameters about the cell signaling and in the second part of the video I'm also going to tell you exactly the step-by-step -step process of TGF beta signaling so let's begin with uh, uh, the very first parameter signaling molecule and the signaling molecule in case of this TGF beta signaling is active TGF beta ligand so it's nothing but uh, any other kind so it's a simple very specific type of chemical factors known as TGF beta ligand or TGFL so once this TGF beta ligand or TGFL is there it's going to bind with the receptor and what is the receptor TGF beta receptor so again TGF beta receptor is the place where the TGF beta ligand will bind and when the TGF beta ligand binds with the TGF beta receptor then the signaling will begin just like any other extracellular signaling process okay and the third important parameter cellular activators or second messengers in this case the examples are many because TGF beta signaling works in two different pathway one is the canonical pathway another one is the non canonical pathway canonical pathway is the regular pathway and non canonical pathway is the one which utilizes uh, the interaction between other cell signaling pathway inside the cell. So canonical pathway continues with uh, the proteins known as SMAD. SMAD1, uh, in this case SMAD2, 3 and 4. And uh, apart from that there are other cell signaling pathway which is linked with this TGF beta signaling. Example MAP kinase pathway, NF kappa B pathway and PI3KKT mTOR pathway. Now if you look at this all pathway, MAP kinase, NF kappa B pathway, PI3KKT mTOR pathway, all these pathways are somehow linked with cell growth, differentiation and proliferation. So this TGF is also uh, belonging to the group of those signaling molecules which enhance the cell and informs the cells to grow divide that's why we call it transforming growth factor beta because the presence and signaling of TGF beta causes the cells to proliferate and to gain properties like metastasis to gain properties like angiogenesis and thus can convert a normal cell into a malignant cell so that's why we call it the cellular transformation from a normal cell into a cancerous cell that's why the name came transform uh, like TGF beta transforming growth factor beta okay now the fourth parameter is the transcription factors that is used in this case is simply those SMAD combinations particularly SMAD4 and along with the SMAD23 so they are going to build this uh, dimer and trimer of those all those SMAD proteins that they are going to act as a transcription factor going directly inside the nucleus and targeting uh, those promoter of the target genes uh, so that those target genes can be transcribed. And the fifth and most important part is the cellular effects played by TGF beta, which I just shared is sim simply the cell growth, proliferation, and providing properties like metastasis and angiogenesis to any cell. And that causes the cell to turn into a cancerous cell from a normal cell point of view. So that's why we call it transforming growth factor signaling and transforming growth factor beta signaling. Now uh, let's talk about the overview of, the, of this TGF beta signaling because uh, I haven't discussed about this signaling pathway in my channel since. So I'm just going to give you a very brief understanding of what this signaling is actually doing. As I said that there are two different types of pathways linked always. One is the canonical pathway, another one is the non-canonical pathway. If you look at this picture, uh, the canonical pathway is listed only one which is belonging with the SMAD 2, 3 and SMAD 4, all these three different SMAD proteins together. And the full form of the SMAD is nothing but S adenosyl methionine decarboxylase enzyme. So this protein is involved in the process of activation and uh, of transcription of their target genes. But rest of the all four or five other pathways are non-canonical means non-conventional, uh, unconventional pathway. So the conventional one or canonical one is simply when 
the active TGF beta ligand binds with the TGF beta receptor. So it can be TGF beta receptor. Uh, there are two different type, type one and type two. Now remember, once TGF beta ligand binds with the receptor dimer, this TGF beta two receptor is going to be activated itself by a phosphorylation, and this TGF beta receptor type two helps in phosphorylating this TGF beta receptor type one. So two phosphorylates the type one kind of TGF beta receptor. And once this cross phosphorylation is done, then this activated form of TGF beta receptor is going to further phosphorylate SMAD23 complex. And then SMAD23 once phosphorylated is going to activate SMAD4. And then this SMAD4, SMAD23 complex is going to go inside the nucleus and then regulate the transcription of the desired genes that are ultimately linked with uh, the cell proliferation pathway, metastasis and angiogenesis pathway of the cell. On the other hand, the non-canonical pathway is the place where uh, once the TGF beta receptor is active by phosphorylation, then this TGF beta receptor is going to uh, interact by activating PI3K and then PI3K activates AKT, then AKT activates mTOR and finally it's going to activate other kinase proteins like S6 and all and they help in the protein synthesis pathway. Similarly, this activated form of TGF beta receptor type 1 is going to signal and going to involve in the cell signaling of MAP kinase pathway by activating RAS, RAS activating RAF, RAF activating MEK, MEK activating ARC and then ARC is going to finally activates all the transcription factors and finally it can also activate June and FOS and all the other different kinds of transcription factors that can go inside the nucleus and activate the desired genes as a result of which the cell will divide, grow and proliferate, can convert a normal cell into, mat uh, into metastatic and uh, and also angiogenetic properties okay so that is an overview of TGF beta signaling so if I if I also share the step-by-step -step process to you again uh, from a different point of view here you can get it even more clear beginning with this type 2 receptor and type 1 receptor present on the surface of the cell uh, leaflet or cell membrane TGF beta binds with it and after that the dimerization completes type 2 receptor is going to phosphorylate type 1 receptor and then type 1 receptor once phosphorylate is going to activate uh, SMAD by phosphorylating it. Once MAD is activated, that SMAD is going to further activate other SMAD proteins like SMAD4, which is a kind of a nuclear localizer or nuclear attachment proteins because MAD23 cannot directly go inside the nucleus on their own. So they need the help of SMAD4 to go inside the nucleus as a transcription factor. So SMAD4 once attached with the phosphorylated SMAD23 complex, then they are going to act as a transcription factor, they go inside the nucleus and they are going to turn on the signaling of certain different, uh, an activation of certain different genes. Transcriptional activation of those genes lead to the cell growth and proliferation and thus leading to the transformation of a normal cell into a cancerous cell by, by providing them uh, two important properties, one metastasis and two angiogenesis. So that's all regarding the TGF beta signaling. Uh, so if you intend to know more about this signaling, you can search online. But this is overall the process of TGF beta signaling. If you like this pathway, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel because more and more cell signaling videos are about to come. Thank you.